So thanks everybody for joining the call or watching the replay. My name is Jack and in the last couple of days I have shared the new um, addition to Sales Dynamic Jack and it's called Prospector Jack. So Mobile Prospector Jack. And for the ones who didn't attend last Sunday, I'm going to show you two ways how to prospect local clients and also at the end I'm going to show you a very nice addition to local team jack which you can do easily by yourself so stay with me even when you watched uh, last Sunday there is something new for you too so Google introduced a mobile friendly tester the reason why they did is that about 50% of the people are, are looking online for uh, with a smartphone uh, about information and Google wants to provide as much as possible quality information to those searches so they favor they favor mobile sites so they came up with a tester which is kind of nice and you can enter or the, the you can enter the the URL and it will analyze from A to Z the complete website and it does three things it looks it creates an image how the website is looking on a mobile on a smartphone it looks how mobile friendly it is like how how close the buttons are and it gives a ranking from 0 to 100 and they consider a ranking lower than 85 as not mobile friendly so that is a pretty damn good indication if you prospect in business if that ranking is lower than 85 so they make a nice screenshot and actually what you can do is you can right click on it and save that image and give the name you know let's say I give the name tree download there's only one problem with that and uh, let's uh, open uh, where did I download it we download here here it is okay you guys see this this image so it doesn't have do you see this image it doesn't have a framework around it so so you guys don't see it okay no 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 okay do you guys see it now yes okay so it doesn't have a smartphone framework around it so if you would send out that image to a business they really don't understand what this is about so what you need to do is what you need to do is <coughs> you make a screenshot of it and luckily I have a tool for that and I just crop it and I save it so now I have crop it that's uh, it's snag it you see this and now it looks like a mobile phone okay so now you save as and let me save it in the same directory and call this number five okay save so everybody see this so now you can go to your email like gmail and upload that image okay but i have good news for you guys 
So let me open Lead Finder Jack. And you can do any search, let's say, we want, give me an example, not in the United States. So I, I don't want to, that you guys believe it only works in the United States. Give me an example of a niche in a city in another country than the United States. Dr. Munich. Is that in Swiss? Doctor uh, when I, in Germany. And I do a search, see if I get some results. Okay, so now I got some results, okay? So, while this one is uh, 30 doctors, 39 doctors, 30, 45, I think Munich is a pretty big city. How many, uh, how many uh, doctors I, do you expect are in Munich? Probably 250. I have no idea. So it's collecting now 97, 103, 113, 1, 1 1.3 million people in Munich. Oh, this can take uh, a while. So let me, uh, while it is running, I, I, don't want to mix things up. I think more than 250. So who's the closest? I think 400. Will max out. 1.3 million. Almost there. 500, 330, 750, maybe more than 1,000. Wow, you only need this one niche. In Munich. Okay, so have you guys ever seen a lead collecting software who are able to collect 435 um, businesses in one click. And I think it didn't take longer than a minute. Okay? So all other softwares will go to 70, 100 or whatever. But n nobody goes above the 100, let's say 400 companies. This is special technology. So. Now you see in Dig Deep, you guys see that? You click on Dig Deep and you want to make sure that Search Mobile, let me cancel this, stop Dig Deep. Cancel this, you want to make sure that Dig Deep is selected. Uh, I mean Search Mobile is selected. So let me first do that. I don't need that. So search mobile, select it, and then you start and dig deep. Okay, those can be the default settings. And now it's going to start with dig, uh, with dig deep, and it also search mobile. So let me explain you in the meantime what it does. Okay. So, let me go back to Google in the meantime while Lead Finder Jack is running. So, it does, it does collect a real mobile image. 
and it shows them in a frame. You don't need to do an, an print screen and crop it. You see all those axes? That, that means this website is not mobile friendly. And Google ranks them between the zero and 100. And they say 85 is okay. If it's lower than 85, there's a problem. Okay? And then you also know, can do page speed, page speed inside. So they say, you know, 0 to 100, we scale it, and 85 is okay. So lower than 85, it, uh, it's not good. So 85, you don't see that. Here it will come, but that is how Google, here, here are some small tags, but they just translate it in, 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 in a factor, and that factor, they share, you can, you can, if you have special tools, you can get that factor. Here with page speed, when it's ready, you see that ranking, 59. So for the page speed, they show the, 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 the ranking, 59. And lower than 85 means there's a problem. Okay? So let me go back to Lead Finder Jack. And for the ones who have good eyes, you see Mobile 20 from the 365. Can you see this? Mobile 20 from the 365. So that 365 uh, URLs collected at this point, and 24 are now checked. And what does it check? There are three elements what really determines. One is for 100% with 100% accuracy, it determines if the website is mobile friendly or not. It used to be that the accuracy was 90% or so, and with other lead finder software, it was maybe 50%. Uh, you know, good luck or not good luck. Now the accuracy is 100%. It comes directly from Google, and it's the only thing that matters. The second thing is, it makes a screenshot. It make it make for you the screenshot, and it saved them, which you can later use in the email I'm showing to you. Everybody get this? That is so powerful. The, the second is, it stores the mobile friendly factor, and it stores, it collects and stores, it asks on Google, what is the page speed factor? Everybody get this? So let me stop this, dig deep. I'm going to show you in a live demonstration that it has collected what I'm just all uh, showed you. Okay, so I'm, I'm stopped to let let me collect uh, let let them c c collect the information so I can show them in a campaign the real images. So this is live summary report. Yes, it is all live real. It's not fake. There's not a fake image or so. It is the prospect business URL in a mobile device. Okay. So let me stop this. Let me go to campaigns. Campaigns and now we have that and then we you see this small you have three columns M speed mobile usability M screenshot okay so if you click on this image and let me open and browser starts open you see it has collected It has collected a, a real image. Is it not wow? Are you not impressed? 
how the software can do this. There's no, I, I can do thousand, thousand company in, in an hour. You would, if you would it manually, you would take, you would need a, a month. Okay. And this is live. I didn't fake it. You know, I didn't know that we did this. Uh, so let me, you see 58 and 62. So this is probably also not a good uh, mobile website. So let me open this. You see other example, you know, this is not mobile optimized. This is just a desktop website. You see this? So now, now we have that all that information. You want to use it in the email, correct? Having it sitting on your desktop doesn't do anything. So now you go to emails, templates, and let me delete. You see this? I, I let me delete this. Remove. So if you start off, you go to library, and in the library there are predefined email templates. Okay, so let me select them for mobile prospector jack and download them. Wow. From our library, it gets imported locally on your desktop. Everybody saw this? Enter yes or no, because this makes it so easy. Once you have downloaded that uh, email template, you click on modify, and there are some fields, are some positions that you want to enter your own phone number. Okay? 561-213-1234. Okay, and your name? And then your phone number. One second, let me cancel it. Modify. Okay, your phone number. Okay, and you save it. Okay, everybody got this? Now your email template has your information on it. That was pretty simple, correct? Now you go to the campaign and you go to emails. You select that email template, click OK. Then you select the button, select all emails. Oh, one, one second. I want only to send emails if they have a URL. Because where is that template located? Is on the is on our server? Is in the library? So we have a library, and you can download it into your desktop. And then you can say um, mobile usability lower than 85 that's what i like okay if the if the mobile usability lowers than 85 it is not a good uh, mobile uh, website everybody got this So you, you download the desktop, but it goes straight into Lead Finder Jack. Yes, there's nothing to do on your end. You see all, the, all those selections have a mobile website and the usability is lower than 85. You select all emails and you start the campaign. Everybody got this? 
okay now i can send hundreds of emails with this simple method and if you do that you get something like let me show you a screenshot Are you guys seeing this screenshot? So if you do that, you see, you see you, the, the, the receiver see an image right in the email. And I, I, I haven't actually explained how all this work because you only have to download the email template. But let me go one step back. Let me go back to lead finder jack and go to emails, modify, and you see three new tokens, mobile speed, mobile usability, and mobile screenshot. Everybody see this, three tokens? Only, only by this simple token, mobile screenshot, that image get inserted in the email is that not pretty cool there's no work on your end only this simple token same for mobile speed and mobile usability but that is the cool part that mobile screenshot get inserted in the email and there are two ways how you can send images with an email one is inserted in the email and one is one is attached to the email attached to the email will not convert that that well because when you receive an attachment with an email from a stranger you will not trust it if you see it right in your email and your first glance is it is your it is your um your website you are interested right away when this is when this is your website when this would be your website you are connected right away everybody got this Will Gmail let that image show up in the email? Yes, this is a screenshot in Gmail. This is a screenshot in, in Gmail. So there's one more kind of trick. It, it's not a trick, it is more or less a knowledge you have to know. Everybody, know, everybody knows what I'm speaking about. It is the mail server. If we would use if we would use a regular mail server like hostgator or on your domain um, that email will go very likely to the spam when I say all the way always but it goes to Gmail to the spam it goes to Yahoo to the spam it goes to money to the spam okay so we are we have looked for weeks how to solve that okay and we came to the to the conclusion and i want to thank many people to confirm that because they already used it is amazon ses so you have it is takes takes not much time to set it up and thanks to karen she really made it easy to uh to follow those instructions okay so if you go to emails uh, that uh, mail server, you click on add mail server and you select Amazon. And now a button shows up. This button is a zip file download. And the zip file contains out of four PDFs. And it explains step for step for step what to do, how to get approval. So two things you want to do. 
you want to use, of course, your own domain and set up the digital marketing team. Everybody get this step? Re repeat, okay? This is important for success. You don't need, but it will help you. I know this, this works. Other, other methods might work too, but I know this works. Repeat and, and write it down. You want to use the digital marketing team. Okay? Everybody knows what the digital marketing team is? Um, Robert's webinar. Let's see if I can show them. Web design team might also work. Okay, so somebody else used the mobile friendly team. So if you go to Team Jack settings, you see this is the digital marketing team. And the local website team probably works also. And I heard somebody say, the mobile marketing agency. Okay, I know that the digital marketing team as a reference works. I heard somebody saying the mobile marketing team I use and I got approved too. I heard somebody else saying I use another website and I got disapproved. So I'm not, and, and, and maybe others say I got another website and it also, uh, and also got approved. I'm only saying what I used and I got approved to send 50,000 emails per day, so full account. Everybody get this? Second thing is, use an email related to the domain name. So I asked approval for IBIS leads. Let's see where we have IBIS leads. I, I asked approval for the IBIS leads team. Okay. And my domain, my email was something like uh, support or jack at ibisleads.com. You need to get approval from Amazon to get to, um, um, to, to send emails. Yes. And once you get approved by Amazon, you have such a good source, the best source to my knowledge. And it costs pennies. Okay? So, why am I explaining that to you? Because Lead Finder Jack will send your email, whatever whatever mail server you use, okay? As long as you don't get banned out. But if you use the Amazon email uh, mail server, your, your email get much more likely received in the inbox instead of the spam. Everybody got that? It takes you probably an hour but it's an hour for life. And you will be so glad you took that hour. And we make it very simple with a PDF with four steps, to have, thanks to Kern, with all those detailed instructions. Okay? So, let me... Uh, let me uh, show you one more thing. So, so if you not only want to send emails, but also have them received in the inbox, and that is from Gmail, just follow the steps. Okay? So, who is ready? Is the prospector included in the enterprise? In Sales Dynamite Jack, it includes 
local team jack and it includes um the best lead finder and it's all what you need so enter yes or no who guys are in or not but now i hope i explained everything so Lenny is in carl is in talmag is in Anthos was already in jeffrey's in anise is in Uh, James said I have enterprise, but it sounds like you don't have the best seat finder. Mary said I am already in. Larry, Larry said long time. Chris said I already have sales done in my jack. Dale, I'm in. Or hey, uh, Philip said already in, already in. Yes. Mike, Lloyd. So let me make a screenshot. I, I'm not making this up, guys. I do not. One second. Let me make a better screenshot. It goes so fast. Everybody see the screenshot? If you are not in, you're missing big thing. Okay? I'm telling you, when you are not in, you're missing big thing because the price is now $9 for the first month. You have nothing to lose. And in one day and a half, it, it goes $20 more expensive. And that is the price where it gets launched officially. Your guys are really have the first opportunity. Okay. Okay. Your, that is, you are the first who I've sh shared it, okay? That is not a scarcity, that is real stuff. I just shared you guys what works. Lainey said, this is, a, this is a great set of tools. If you have sales dynamic jacket, it is included white. Okay. Alan said, I'm new. So welcome, Alan, and just take benefit of it. Alexa said, amazing set of tools. What is the latest dynamic jack? This is the latest new property mobile new property mobile prospector jack ad set an unbelievable set of tools okay i have dynamite jack so that is the new feature correct so you all set as long as you have an active account you all set this is the best system I have seen for offline mobile marketing jack, said Rick. And then I said, this just keeps getting better and better. Holy cow. Karen said, I have never found tools with the most amazing training and support. Thanks, Karen. So if I have Biz Lead Finder, then need to add sales dynamic jack so you want to have sale if you have biz lead finder and enterprise you're all set michael said karen does good also but if you have only lead finder jack not the biz version then you want this special deal that is the best deal yes mark So let me, some of you guys are on a mobile, I think on a tablet, and you guys don't see the link. So if you are on a, uh, on a mobile device, uh, then uh, let me know if you don't see the link, and I will enter it in your message. 
Lane is at Jazz too. Jack shows are amazing, and so is Jack contain custom customer support. Thanks, Laney. Ad said, your dedication to our success by supporting us the way you do. It is unheard in the marketing industry. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, Ed. How do I check whether I have it or not? Just send a support ticket. Mary Teresa said, I agree with Ed, unheard of. I'm new. If I buy this software, do I need to buy another add on software? No. If you have this, you're all set. This is all what you need. I have Lead Finder Jack and Enterprise Team. Do I still need to buy mobile prospector or sales dynamic? If you this is this is um, how do you say this? The Lead Finder Jack comes um, comes with a pro, but this is the base version. So Michael said he had 65 opens with 300 cent, and that is very good. Do you know what that means, Michael? Michael, which email template did you use? Did you use another one than the standard or your own? He, he used number six. So Michael said, let me make a screenshot because this is very good. Everybody see this? Michael said, he sent out an email and can also be very recently. He had 65 opens with 300 cents. Okay, and he used email template number six. This is freaking awesome, you know that? 65 opens, with six is one of the five open. Michael, did you, have you set up Amazon? Which mail server did you use? Michael said Amazon. I know, I know, I know. So, What was the subject line? Can you uh, tell what the subject line was? Michael, do, can you uh, share what the subject line was? Do not remember. Can you sh can you look it up? Because I think the subject line is indeed important. So. Here a question, I, who of you guys think that email is dead, it doesn't work? Who thinks email is doesn't work? If it didn't work, you would not be on this live call. You probably are here because I send out emails. You probably upgraded to the uh, sales dynamite because I send out emails. So Michael was able to connect m more than 25%, 20% to a cold list. Do you guys get it? How would you be able to get in touch with a cold list easily? There is no easier method than this. That's why right, Tracy. No, he didn't share the shopping line yet, but we will get it. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. Let me put it in. Uh, let me put this in. Uh, it was the token company URL Google test. Everybody get it? The, the subject line what Michael used was company URL Google test. This is freaking awesome. You know that? Did you have a subject line? 
and a method with 20% open rate. This is golden. This is golden. You are all, do, do you all guys see it? What was the subject line? It was the token company URL and then the words Google test. <laughs> Michael said, now I have to call. What was subject? The, the token company URL and Google test. I put it in the, in the sky. Okay, so I promised something to train you also something new. I will come back to this. But before we end the hour, I want to show you something else. Let me show you. So this is my team. Everybody sees my, my team, Jack Hopman. Okay. You guys have a phone number here, correct? I prefer that I don't get called. I prefer that I get an email. You know, as marketer, I'm busy. I don't want that every five minutes goes over my phone. Okay? So, I changed the button to something that if I, I'm during the day, I don't want to get disturbed, but I'm okay that I get an email, that they click on it, and once they click on it, I cannot demonstrate it because then it opens my my um, my uh, mail server. It goes directly to the mail server. Who likes to know that how this works? I would apply it to your digital marketing team. If you are working during the day and you don't like calls, I would change it to an email button. Okay, so I promise to you that I, even when you were suddenly on the call, that you learn something. So go to Team Jack. So before I do that, have you ever seen an other marketer using their own team as the business website? And you get to see on the back end what he has? They they don't they, they don't use their own teams, you know. They use uh, something like uh, uh, Optimize Press and all kind of things, but they don't use their own teams. They just sell it to yours. So this is the back end, and you go to homepage, and then you see click to action button text. Everybody see this? Click to action button text. So that is actually very simple. That is the easy part. Okay? There's no subtext, and then you get some code. Click to action button link. And that is the trick. So I put it in the put it in the chat box. Okay, that is in the chat box. This code, and it click to add a button link is the link that will result if you click uh, click on this button, it will open a browser. Okay, I will put that also in the Facebook group. Okay, everybody got this. So the second thing and. I think this is freaking awesome. And I'm not sure if I'm going to include this in the replay, okay? You see what I did? I included the mobile friendly test inside my own website. You see that? Now I embedded that and if I want to do uh if I want to do a mobile test, the user, where is my website? I enter the URL and I click on analyze. So now the 
now you can advertise on any page any page you can advertise the Google test very 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 easy okay very easy so now they stay on the website and here in the sidebar you can have a contact us today or the call to action everybody get that it's, it gives you all the information the screenshot and everything so you can have a call to action on your home page to have a call to action everybody see this you like it so how to do that did, did it make you worthwhile your time to be on the webinar to see how this works you can do it in any website okay but you go to pages and go to mo mobile friendly test okay you create a page and you put this code on the website okay I put it in the Skype everybody got it your guys are live okay I will share it with you how to implement this on your digital team I'm probably going to make a bonus of it or so Everybody got this? Okay. So, if you like this training and see the power of uh, and see the power of Sales Dynamo Jack, take action today. Okay, so there's no reason that that nine dollar for the first month is um, would you hold back? It will show a live image in the email, a real image. That is not fake. That is their website. That is why it works so good. And now Michael has tested that he has a subject line with 20% open rate. 20% open rate. And that is because of two things. One is he used Amazon as mail server. Second is um, he has an awesome subject line. You can send 400 emails with basic fine. I don't want that you overuse that power. It wouldn't be fair to anybody else. Okay. I have logo team jack enterprise so that is all what I need you, you need sales dynamite jack sales dynamite jack is logo team enterprise plus best lead finder does your system hook up with Amazon CSS you have to create an own account and I will um, I will um, and you will get a detailed description how to set up an account with Amazon so that took a couple of weeks and Karen helped me with that so now it is pretty damn easy to set up an account does the client have to get their own website of making their current website mobile friendly That is an option so you can solve it by redirect to an um, uh, you can solve it by redirect to a mobile website by a plugin or you redo the website in project VA you can 
uh, in Project VA, you, you can ask help for that. Is there instruction how to do an Amazon account? Yes. Amazon account is cost pennies, pennies. It's very affordable. Should we use a domain name that is hosted on VPS or dedicated? That doesn't matter, but you want to use an email related to the domain. Does the software somewhere create the M code or not? No. Tom said Karen did a great job. Yes. Can you can you reuse a search you previous in uh, did in in um, in local lead finder jack you have to redo the dig deep you don't have to do the collection again but you have to redo the dig deep i have already an amazon s3 account can i use that yes you can use that you have to add it so the first step is done. The, the zip file contained four steps. And the first step, set up an Amazon AWS account, you have done. But you still have to do three other steps. Is Lead Finder Jack part of Sales Dynamo Jack? Yes, and it's the BIS Lead Finder. So it includes Local Team Jack Enterprise and the BIS Lead Finder. Should we use a special website just for sending emails in case spam or uh, complaint uh, complaint problems? Yes, that is not a uh, bad idea. Tracy said, "Okay, just describe to lead finder base version. Where is the tool tool training?" It's no more trading than that, you know. You can, you, it's it's pretty damn easy. Where can I find the zip file for setting the Amazon account? I j I showed in the beginning of the training. Any way to attach a PNG file? I don't know. I I, I don't like the. You can attach, you can attach a file to the email having the image inside the email works much better. Correct, Alexa? Can we insert video in upcoming updates, please, Jack? So, um, you can... There is nothing, something like that you can show a video in an email, okay? You can only show a video image in the email, but it always has a link to a video player like YouTube. So if you have a problem to install Lead Finder Jack, pause your antivirus program and white label it. Matt, that is, I'm looking into that. Jamie, I got so many questions and if your question is long, I skip them. So you have to be very short in the question and I, you have to repeat it then. Can we import a list to lead finder jack at this moment? Not. Jamie said, if a site is not mobile optimized and the owner doesn't want a new site, do we? What do you recommend? I'm coming out with a new WordPress plugin, which you can redirect a mobile visitor to another website, which is mobile friendly. So for the mobile visitors you have a solution.
So let me close the recording and I can still answer some um uh I can still answer some uh, other questions. Thanks for watching the recording. Uh please take action and grab that special deal.